Hi friends, today I'm going to share with you about the topic of retirement. All right, um, this is going to be a multi-part topic, so I'll be recording, you know, maybe 10 minute clips, all right? But I don't know really how many sessions it's going to take because, you know, I've been teaching retirement planning for so many years, all right? And, you know, in the CFP program, we, t we take about, you know, two or three months to teach a module on retirement. And it always feels that, you know, it's not enough. You know, there's so many things to cover and so on. Okay, but anyway, I just want to give you some... Um, understanding about retirement, all right, and what are the challenges that we face and how we can basically um, go about solving them, okay? Now, I want to first make a disclaimer, which is very important, okay? Whatever I'm going to say here is not going to be financial advice, okay? Please do not take it as financial advice because every individual is different, all right? What I want to do is really to just give you some awareness about the importance and why you should be taking action today, okay? And hopefully with that understanding, please go and see your trusted financial planner. Now, when we talk about retirement, let me just do, do it like this. Okay, I really have no slides prepared today because I just want to make it free flow. All right. Now, according to um, Webster's Dictionary, right, the definition of retirement, okay, the very academic one, uh, is such that it is ending, okay, your working or professional career. Okay, so this is Webster's definition. Okay, now if you go to the street and you ask any man on the street what is retirement, they will tell you many things such as, you know, oh, retirement is doing what? Oh, forgive me for the English. I love to do. All right, too used to it. Okay, my first language in school actually is not English, but it's English. <laughs> okay, now, some people will tell you, I want to be debt free, or I have financial freedom. Well, good. Okay, some people can tell us, you know, uh, retirement means I want to slow down in life. Very legit, all right? No point working so hard when you retire, all right? Having all the stress of, you know, meeting deadlines and meeting targets at work. Yeah, so you want to slow down. Our retirement is to make the choice not to work. Okay, it's also very legit. All right, and to some, they may say that retirement means I have no worries about tomorrow, okay? So, for example, uncertain about food, necessities, and so on, okay? So basically, these are some general definitions of what people would think about in terms of retirement. All right, I can put all this into a nutshell, oops, and say that essentially retirement means freedom, right? Freedom to do what you want to do, freedom to take a slow pace in life, freedom to be financially free, all right, debt free, and so on and so forth, okay? So in fact, because of this, we say that retirement is good. Okay, and should be desired. All right, it should be everybody's dream okay, to be able to retire in comfort and financial freedom. All right, now, let me just bring this down. So, having said that, right, what is the situation right now in Singapore? Okay, it is very well documented by researchers, studies, reports, just Google, you know, retirement adequacy in Singapore. As early as, you know, 1980s and 1990s, when we have the Interministerial Committee, all right, we have already identified two very important um, situations that we have. All right, one of them is retirement inadequacy. The other one, I'll talk about it in another segment. Okay, so we are facing this challenge today, eh? known as this thing called retirement. Oops, not adequacy, but inadequacy. Okay, retirement in Eddie. <laughs> inadequacy okay what it means is basically we do not have enough financial resources all right to last the entire duration of the retirement okay now if you look at it right it do make sense a lot all right in this problem if you look at what we have today in terms of social security we have our cpf life scheme Okay, which basically pays you a monthly income for the rest of your life, all right? Now, the amount of this payout is dependent on your savings, okay? Specifically, we have this. Okay, I better write it down in full so that you can have a better picture, okay? In this term known as your full 
retirement sum. Okay, we call it the FRS. Okay, before 1st January 2016, you probably hear of this number more as the minimum sum. Okay, basically the name have changed. All right, today is known as your retirement sum. All right, so if you meet the full retirement sum today, let's say you return 55 and the retirement sum today is 161,000. Okay, this will give you a monthly income of 1,300 or so per month. Okay, I would say that our social security system, right, in terms of the CPF life payout, okay, as an individual, if you ask me, okay, this is adequate, all right, to provide what I call a basic standard of living. Okay, now honestly, if you look at the elderly couple today, 1003 really is enough to meet a basic standard of living. Now, so what's the problem with retirement adequacy? Okay, based on a report in 2014 by CPF board, okay, in this article known as retirement, okay, you can you can Google this article, actually it's still online. Okay, the last I checked, okay, they gave us this statistics that, you know, in 2014, okay, 49.7% of Singaporeans, all right, or active CPF members, okay, were able to set aside the full retirement sum. Okay, that means less than half of them cannot meet this full retirement sum. Okay, less than half uh, cannot meet 161,000, which then means uh, they will not get 1,003. They will get an amount lesser than that. Okay, and in order to get 1,003, okay, you have to have this 161,000 in cash. Okay, that means even if you pledge a property, uh, you won't get that amount. And if you pledge a property and the property value is up to half of this amount, let's say 80,500, okay, that means this amount effectively reduces by about half. Okay, so you are talking about $700 a month, which is really inadequate by then. Okay, so we have a situation where our social security system, CPF life, cannot give us a adequate income to maintain a balance or basic standard of living. Okay, so this is the current situation. Of course, our government, Mr. Tan Chuan Jin, recently just said that, you know, he'll make sure that, you know, on a year-on-year -year basis, the cohort that turns 55, all right, the CPF life payout is enough to sustain, okay, a basic standard of living. Okay, I think it's good, all right. But as of now, we still have this problem. Okay, a lot of people cannot meet the full meet, uh, retirement sum. Okay, there is actually some reasons behind it which I will explore in another part of the video. Okay, but let's continue. So we know that this is part of the problem. Okay, other problems also can surface. Okay, Singaporeans generally, according to demographics, we have a longer life expectancy. Okay, so we are living longer. And the problem with living longer is affordability. Affordability. Okay, so we always ask, you know, can you afford to live that long? Okay, because the longer you live, it means that the more money you will need okay, to sustain your old age. All right, now another problem, okay, is also that uh, we have less babies today. Okay, birth rate have dropped. Okay, although in the last two years it seemed to be increasing, but generally we are still hovering in the 1.2 over 1.3. Uh, number. All right, so with less babies, the question then becomes in future, who can I then depend on? Okay, because we know that we can't depend on our children anymore to provide us with retirement income. Okay, unlike our grandparents' generation, you know, where they have many kids and each kid just give them fifty hundred dollars they have about the payout of a minimum sum. Okay, so it's pretty substantial when you have many babies, but now with lesser babies, smaller family nucleus, okay, the problem becomes significant. So who can I depend on? All right, and even if you can depend on your children, all right, I think today we also can't rely totally on them because they themselves will be struggling as well with stagnant wages and so on. Okay, so this generally, you know, snowballs. Of course, there are other issues, okay, which, you know, talk to your financial planner. He should be able to explain this in detail to you. All right. Now, to solve retirement inadequacy, according to what a British pension uh, expert uh, told our PM, okay, to solve the problem of retirement adequacy, we have to do three things. Okay, either we work longer, all right, which is what we are promoting today, right? With your retirement uh, so-called working age uh, under the uh, Reemployment Act, 
okay, growing to 67 eventually. Okay, so they are making Singaporeans work longer. In fact, some of our ministers have said, you work for as long as you are alive. Okay, that means no retirement age. Okay, so retirement age is infinite. Oh, that's horrible to think. Okay, now, the other one is live with less. Okay, so if you don't, if you know that you don't have enough money, so basically, what do you do? You sacrifice, all right, you take a lower standard of living, you live with lesser income. Okay, that's also very sad. Okay, the third way, which is more practical, is to, of course, save more. All right, so these are the three recommendations that the British pension expert have shared with PM Lee. And basically, he put in his Facebook post that he do agree. And generally, if you ask me, this is also a very practical um, solution. Okay, I think it's sensible. But, you know, the first, the first proposal gives a big if. All right, what if we cannot live or we cannot work longer okay, due to health reasons and so on? Then what happens? All right, live with less. What if I can't even have that lesser to live on? Okay, save more. Okay, the next question is how then can I save more, right? So it is not so easy uh, because in every of each of these proposal, there is a very big if down there. Okay, and a big how to do it. All right. Now, so this brings us to the real solution. I want to share with you the real solution to our retirement problem. Okay, and my solution is a very simple 5K. So what are these 5K stand for? This 5K stands for Kaki Ko Kaki. Okay, in English, all right, it's own self, care for own self. Okay, in Singapore, we have own self, check own self. Okay, we also have own self, care for own self. Now, what does this mean? Okay, this means basically we take personal responsibility and also personal ownership okay, of our future retirement. Okay, do not depend on the government, do not depend on children, do not depend on anybody, depend on ourselves. All right. So how can we depend on ourselves? Okay, that is when and that is also why this topic of retirement planning is so important. Okay. So in essence, what is retirement planning? Retirement planning is all about this. All right. Let's say we have a timeline. All right. I always say to my clients that we have a beginning and an end. Okay. We have a birthday. This is where we are today. We'll work until we retire someday. Okay. All of us have a unique number down here. Some say want to retire 55, some 60, some 65, some 70, some like our government says don't stop working. All right. So basically all of us have a unique number down here. Okay. From retirement, we are continue working until the way the day we RIP. Okay. Now retirement planning basically means you want to build down here. Okay. What you call a personal retirement ATM machine. Okay. And this machine basically will provide you with income all the way until the day you die for the rest of your life. So what you do here is starting from today, you start to grow your nest egg until the full retirement ATM machine is fully funded. It can start paying you money all the way until the day you die. That in essence is financial planning. And that brings us to the question of how to do it. Okay, so for this, all right, you need to talk to a financial planner. Okay, somebody who is properly trained in this topic. All right, so you need to look for people who are certified. Okay, the CFP, AWP, AFPs, all these are people who are deemed to be certified. So, you know, if you can, if you know of somebody or your own financial advisor, please speak to them. Ask them in depth how they can solve this problem. Okay, how you can build this retirement ATM machine today so that in future you can live in freedom 
okay, and not become a san deng gong ming, deng si, deng sui, deng si. All right, don't become a citizen, you know, who have a very long life but no money. Then in Singapore, we really will suffer. Okay, just look at the elderly today who have no choice but to go out exercising. All right, so this is the problems that we have. Okay, and we see, and this basically highlights the retirement issue. Okay, in other segments, I will share with you the house. Okay, to plan what's the situation in Singapore, what do we have, what tools can we use, and so on and so forth. Okay, like I said, I don't know how long this series will take. But I guess you know, as long as it helps, okay, I'll continue doing it, okay, and hopefully it helps you in some of the planning. All right, so all the best to you. All right, remember speak to your financial planner, and I'll see you soon.